This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. Hi everyone, so this is just a really short video explaining what are private post and pages. Uh, so if you go, in, and I can show you one right here, I have a post that's marked private. So if I go into my quick edit here, uh, you can see that I have marked it private uh, in my quick edits. Okay, so what does private mean? So pretty much when you mark a page or post private, only administrators or editors, so editor or hire, can see this post, okay, and work on this post. Any any other uh, user such as subscriber, um, etc., will not be able to see this post in their dashboard. Okay, so it's only accessible uh, to administrators and editors. Uh, you can do that if you want to safeguard your content. Maybe you're working on something and you don't want other people messing with it, etc. That's why you would use a private tag. Uh, this is also going to keep it from being viewed on the front end. When someone types in your, you, you know, your URL, they're not going to be able to see this page or access it. Okay. Uh, so there's also an option to do a password instead of private. Passwords kind of work the same way a little bit. Password pages are not indexed by Google, um, and then in order to access a page, you have to do the password to access it, okay? So if someone lands on that page, there's going to be a password, you know, enter password. If they have the password, they can enter it, and they'll be able to view it and edit it. Um, if, you know, if they have those credentials or not. Uh, so that's kind of the difference between the two uh, using password or private. With private, only editors and above can see it and edit it. Uh, but with a password page, if you have the password, you can pretty much do uh, whatever you need to do with it, okay? If it's a published page and it is, um, you know, just a regular person looking at your site um, and they have the password, then they're going to be able to view it. That's kind of a good way for building out your, you know, your site and you want certain membership only options or you want like a secret page for uh you know certain loyal subscribers to go to that's a great way to do it um but yeah so that is what private pages and posts are for i hope that's a good explanation for you guys and have a great day thanks for watching if this was helpful please subscribe and if you need extra help visit askquesty.com and send us your questions